Hi, my name is Peter and I'm a solar specialist with Microgreen Solar. We're a distributor and manufacturer of alternative energy products. And today I'd like to speak to you about a new product called Power Pack, which is an off-grid in a box. Here we have our Power Pack. It's our latest product that we just brought out in the market this year. It's an off-grid in a box, um, truly pre-wired, pre-tested, everything in a box. You hang it on the wall, which we'll show you later. Simplistic compared to other boxes that they tout in the market. We have a four kilowatt sine wave inverter in the box. We have a 40 amp charge controller in the box, which, and we also have all the AC and DC paraphernalia around the box so you need to have for connection. It has a DC meter to show your DC input and battery levels. It has an AC meter to show your AC output and your wattage being consumed, which is very helpful for maintaining your batteries. We have on the AC side, terminal strip, which gives you your AC input and AC output. So you can hook up a generator for charging the batteries. The DC side has the battery connections, has a solar input connections. It has a, a switch for the battery to shut off the cable to the um, from the inverter to the uh, batteries. It also comes with some extra pieces. Um, you, you get a, two temperature sensors, one for the inverter, one for the charge controller, that in any cold environment, the batteries get cold, the unit knows that, and adjusts the charging curve accordingly. It has a, a protection box, which the electrical code requires, that you put over top of after you wire up the AC input and output. The solar input has the typical MC4 connectors, it has an Anderson connector which plugs into our box so it makes it easy not to damage the connector. There's also two cover plates which go over the battery terminals once the battery cables have been mounted for safety as well. Um, it comes with all the appropriate manuals for the meters, for the, man, for the unit and also an installation guide which is very intense showing you all the things you should know about installing the unit. The power pack installation, as mentioned before, is a very simplified installation. It's basically hang the box on the backing board and then you basically connect it. So right now I have a helper coming in. Davey's going to help me hang the box as it is fairly heavy. So we have two clips on the bottom of the backing board that we drop in place. There are screws in the top of the backing board for mounting purposes. And you just put some screws in the back of the board. And the unit is mounted. Now the power pack has been actually hung on the wall. The first thing you want to do is connect the batteries. And once the batteries are connected, you can actually turn the unit on and have power. So we have put two batteries down below. This is a 24 volt system, so we have to have a minimum of two batteries. We put them down below. We've got the battery cables from the batteries ready to go. So we install them one at a time. You want to mount them this direction so that you can put the caps on when you're finished. You cover them and protect them so they have to be in line. We've turned the battery switch off so there won't be any power going into the unit should something get shorted. Once the battery cables are connected, we do have cover plates we can put on. But the first thing you should do is verify the system is working. You turn the battery switch to on. You can turn the actual unit on and the unit should come up powered. And it says here inverter mode. The AC meter has come on, so basically the unit is active, and we can verify that by plugging into one of the receptacles in the bottom. Okay, wrong breaker. There's three breakers on the bottom, AC input, output, and separate receptacles, so you can verify that the power is actually on. So now the unit is actually functional. You could use this power to actually install the solar panels on your roof. Once the solar panel come down, the wires come down, they'll come down, there's two cables, black and red, which is your negative and positive. You would connect them to this, and you would plug this in the side, and you actually 
your systems are solid working. Only final step to do is to take the ground wire from the ground here and put it to the ground plate in the ground and the system is complete.